The Assassin's Creed series is filled with memorable characters, including the likes of Ezio, Altair, Connor, Jacob, Evie Fry, but the latest game in the franchise stars Bayik, an Egyptian warrior who actually isn't a member of the Assassin Brotherhood, and that's because he hasn't actually found it yet. Now when we first meet Bayik, he's already established in this world. He's not an assassin in training or a young person looking for an adventure, he's in his early 30s and, and in a secure role as a Medje. Now according to Origins developers, the Medjai were essentially the police of ancient Egypt. They were originally Nubian mercenaries, but over a long period of time they were absorbed into Egyptian life and served as a phenotic guard, security and other peacekeeping roles. Now, Origins takes place in a time of transition around 40 BC when Rome scrambled to control Egypt while Cleopatra ascended to power. Bayik is the last of his order, though he will form a replacement that will last a millennium. Now, Bayik of, is from Syrah and he is obviously a Medjai and an assassin of the Egyptian Brotherhood. He was active during the reign of the last pharaoh of Egypt, Cleopatra, and now he is credited with founding the Brotherhood. Now, not the obviously assassin brotherhood like that people have before, but he is the founder of the concept that we know of now, that we see in AC1 all the way up until AC Black Flag. Now, Bayik hailed from the town of Syrah, where he was viewed as a local hero, the last of the Medjai, and an old Nubian Egyptian order which had become obsolete under the rule of the Greek uh, Polytomies. Bayik was the respected protector of his community, but in the rest of Egypt, he was viewed as an inconvenience relic by those in power. As a Medjai, Bayik was highly trained in the arts of combat, favouring a variety of weapons that included a kopesh, a spear and a bow. He also possessed a shield to defend himself against enemies' attacks. Aside from this, Bayik was an expert in stealth, wielding the signature hidden blade, low-profile assassinations and free-running. Bayik had a symbiotic relationship with his eagle Senu, which aided him in reconnaissance thanks to his eagle vision. Now, unlike later assassins such as Altair bin Lahad, Ezio de Toledo Renze, and Desmond Miles, Bayik's eagle vision was far, far more literal in the sense that activating the ability allowed him to see through the eyes of Senu. Now, Bayik is a play on the word falcon or vulture. Bayik possesses a small scar on his upper lip, a small feature he shares with previous assassins such as Altair, Ezio da Renze, Avenir de Grand Play, and Desmond Miles. Bayik wears a necklace adorned with an eagle's skull, which, when viewed from certain perspective, resembles the assassin insignia. Now, Bayik also has a missing ring finger on his left hand for the use of the hidden blade, similar to the Levantine Brotherhood of Assassins during the Crusades. Now, guys, Bayik is the founder of the original Assassin's Brotherhood. By that, I mean he is he created all of these uh, tasks and uh, the way the Brotherhood actually goes about its business, he created that. He created that feeling of being part of something other more than just a group of people who go kill. So guys, that has been my video on who is Bayik in Assassin's Creed Origins. If you guys want more character profiles, make sure to click that subscribe button. Comment down below what's your favourite thing about Bayik. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye for now, and have a great day.